Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get characters, uh, how to get characters and how to add more character slots on Mugen on the, uh, the Mac. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is get this app right here. It's free and it is amazing for changing RAR files uh, to be compatible with on like on Mac files. So I highly recommend it. It's in the description below. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing you're going to want to do. The second thing you're going to want to do, uh, there's a bunch of sites that you can use on your own, but I personally, uh, I personally recommend Mugen Archive. I think it's a really, uh, it's a really good, uh, website to get characters and it's really community based as well. You can talk to the producers of the characters and whatever. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be getting Gone. I've been watching Hunter x Hunter. It's pretty good. If you guys have any recommendations for anime, then... You know, leave them in the description below. But you're, what you're going to realize is none of those characters are gone. So they have the uh, Mugen Archers have this thing where it's called a category, and you can you know search for the category you want. As you can see through here, there's a bunch of categories. But for the type of characters I want, I'm going to use a Jump Pocket. That's the one that you'll see in like most videos. So we got to find Jump Pocket, and there it is. Pretty easy to find. You click it, and then you can hit search again. And there you go. See, these are a bunch of guns. Another thing that you're gonna notice is that it goes, uh, instead of going, it goes the most, or the top ones right here are the older ones, and then the ones at the bottom are the, uh, the newer ones. So we're gonna go to the next page, and then as you'll see here, the newer ones are at the bottom, so I want, obviously, the, uh, the newest version, so I'm gonna get this one because I know it works. I also recommend uh, the ones that have links because those are the ones that will show you all the characters and like have an actual YouTube tutorial on how to do it. So I recommend those ones and the ones that also have a lot of comments because you know they might, they, they'll tell you if it's good or bad. Um, so yeah, once you have that you just want to hit download and see it's in that raw file. So what we're going to want to do now is go to Finder. Uh, we can get out of this now, It's not that's not that really important. We're going to go to Finder. And you're gonna see this gone in the raw fire. You're gonna double click it, as so, and see the Unachiever, that app that we got in the first uh, in the first step, is gonna change it into a normal file. Now, you do not want to take that gone file and put it in the characters file. That is a that is bad. This is a, one of the many crucial steps here. What you're gonna want to do is search gone, the, the name of the file, and you're gonna want to put this one in. This is because it excludes some files for some reason. I don't know the science behind it, but it does. Now, another really crucial step here is selecting the exact name. You're gonna see in some of the examples that I have in my characters, like you see Broly up here with a weird name. It doesn't really matter. Gone here, it's just a pretty simple name, but you're gonna see some with really weird names. You have to copy the entire name. Once you have that copied name, you're gonna wanna go to data, and you're gonna go to select death, you're gonna, obviously you can't double click it, it won't work, so you have to open with text edit. Now you're gonna see a bunch of confusing text, that doesn't really matter, you're gonna scroll to the bottom here, and I know I don't really show it right now, but it'll say import characters, and then you just copy and paste that entire, uh, the entire, uh, what do you call it, the entire name, you can save it, and then you can leave out of that. Uh, now I'll open up uh, the game just to make sure it works, because sometimes characters don't work, that's what I found. Uh, so you might have to uh, get different gones or, you know, whatever character you want. You hit trial now, uh, run Mugen. You, if you saw my previous video, you know how to do this. Um, and once you're in Mugen, you just go, it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to go to training because I'm not trying to get myself exposed here. And there he is, that's the gone that we took. We'll face him off against, I mean, I guess All Might, sure, it doesn't really matter. And... Just to make sure that he all runs well, I'll do a little, you know, just, you know, run around with him for a sec because the next thing I'm going to teach you is how to add more character slots because on yours, I believe there's only nine and as you saw on mine, there was, I, I don't actually, I don't even know how many characters I have, but so yeah, I'll teach you how to get character slot or extra character slots right now. For extra character slots, we're going to go back into our Mugen folder, we're going to go to data, and then you see all these confusing files, you're going to select Mugen CFG, the one I just selected right there. We're going to open it up with text edit again. And what you're going to do is you're going to find motif equals data, yours will say slash Mugen1. 
What you want to do is change it to big as I have it here, so it should look exactly what I have here. Uh, then you're going to hit save, and then that's essentially it. Really, It's a really simple process. You hit save twice if you know, you're safe like me, and that is it. You can go back into Mugen, and you should have, I think, it's 60. Um, so yeah, that's it for how to get characters on Mugen. I forgot to mention, you could also delete that RAR or ZIP file now. It's not... It's not important anymore, it's not of any use. So yeah, you can delete that RAR zip file, but you have to keep the uh, the folder file now, if you know what I mean, when we double clicked it. So you have to keep that, but you can delete the RAR zip file. And then, now that's going to do it for uh, this uh, tutorial on how to get characters in Mugen on Mac. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, I'd be happy to answer them. And um, yeah, that's going to do it. Take care, next week I'll be teaching you how to get stages on Mugen.